Hi, I'm Sherilyn Darcy and I'm an environmental artist and author and I'm also a flower reader. And what I do is to bring together my passion for botany and for nature and I help connect people so that they may find guidance and inspiration and also healing pathways with nature. And the way that I do this is through connecting them with the artwork and the research that I find. One of the ways, particularly in bringing all of this together, are my reading decks and books. And the first of which, the Australian Wildflower Reading Cards, have just come out. And I'm so excited to share this with you. This is the box that they come in. And I'm going to show you, it's one of those what's in the box <laughs> little videos. And I'm going to share with you a reading as well so you can see how easy they are to use. So the box has got a little magnetic clasp and it's a really heavy duty box. So you can keep these in here forever. It's a, it's a really, really cool little thing that's been created there by Rockpool. It's really cool. There's a guidebook in there and the guidebook features the meanings of all of the flowers. Now, up the top, is the botanical information so it's all the growing information about the flowers where they grow when they flower all of those sorts of things and down the bottom is the meaning up the top you've got the common name of the flower the botanical nomenclature that's the scientific name and then you also have the keyword meaning in the back of the book there's a bot botanical glossary and this is all of the botany terms that I've used so you can have a look at those if there's any that you're not quite familiar with there's also a bibliography in the back and this includes all of my uh, resources and research notes and there's some reading list books there too that you might want to look for yourself and do a little bit more study too. On each of the facing pages I have included black and white line work. Now this is really special because I've created my decks in lino print. So this is the lino carving then printing and then hand painting and this is actually two of the cards or two of the artworks that went on to create cards that are in the deck. But in your book you've got all of the black and white printing, the, the prints before I painted them which is a really cool little resource because this shows you all the shape and the form of all the flowers um, so you can really study those sorts of dimensions and energies of each of the flowers. In the front of the book there's an introduction from me and there's also a foreword by Lucy Cavendish and she shares some of her uh, connections with nature and flowers as well which is a lovely introduction. There's some spreads. Now these are really easy spreads and they show you how you can use the cards. So these are really suitable for everybody from beginners right through to people who are really familiar with oracle and tarot cards as well. I think the best way is to actually show you how they they work by doing a little spread. So I've got a three card clarity spread in here. So these are the cards and I'm going to do the three card clarity spread. So while I'm holding these I'm thinking of something. I've got something I've been working on at the moment. It's an art project that's a bit sticky at the moment and it's not moving the way that I want it to move, <laughs> move forward. So I'm going to have a reading on that. But first of all, I'll just show you. This is the backs of the cards with the flannel flower, the calming flower, the balancing, the cleansing, centering flower, of course, on the back of all of them. Now, if I was going to pull one for the card of the day, which I'll do right now, I have got gorgeous Baronia. I'm smiling because I love Baronia. I love all of them. Who am I kidding? <laughs> this is Baronia. So this is the front of the cards and you'll see that they're really focused on the artwork, very fine borders. There's the common name of the flower and then there is the one word, keyword for the flower as well. So if I was pulling that for a card of the day, well there you go, there's good information, clarity. So I need to be a little bit, I probably need a bit of clarity right now because there is a lot going on. So there's something in that for me, but I could look into the meaning, the meanings in the book and get a little bit more deeper um, understanding of that flower as well if I wanted to. Okay, so a three card clarity spread. So this one, as I said, it's a sticky point that I've got with this artwork. So the first card down is the Geraldton Wax and that one's about assertiveness. So I probably need to, you know, pull my finger out and <laughs> really get into it and, and just get working with it. I mean, assertiveness does mean stepping up, as you know, and, and getting into it. So that's a pretty good one. So that first 
card down. That first position, according to my guidebook, is well, what's going on at the moment, what's the heart of it. This position here is what will happen if I don't do anything and we just sort of keep going the way that we're going. Really interesting, I've got Lech Noltia, which is the success card. So pretty much I'm assured success. Okay, when this happens and you get in a clarity spread, you get this, well, what will happen if I don't do anything? Well, you, especially if you get success, well, hang on, I'm, I'm not that happy at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit lost. So this is the keys to what to do now. This might have said something negative, so it would give me the keys to what I could do to change this. When we've got a positive card, very, very good. Healing, whoa, <laughs> the blue gum flower. So the keys for me to attain the success, which is coming along anyway, is to heal. I, I need to obviously heal, um, cleanse. When I look into the book, and I know this about blue gum flower, it's very much a cleansing flower. It's about cleaning the slate off. I probably need to cleanse my environment and my work and the way that I'm doing my work and get things in order so that I can attain this success. So that's a, a really... That's a really good little reading for me. I'm going to take that on board. Thanks a lot for sharing this space with me. I hope that this gives you a little bit more insight into the Australian Wildflower reading cards. And may nature always bless you with everything you ever need.